Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. Guys, I got a problem. My turbo is still leaking. You know what? Cut the intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Alright guys, if you enjoyed that intro, you already know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, bell notification. But otherwise than that, this video, I'm really going to just be trying to take off some of the intake system because I've been smelling this oil and it sucks that I'm back here again. But in this case, I don't really think it's the drain now. I think it's the oil feed and I'm going to try my best to get to it. So I'm going to just try to show you some of the steps of me getting to it and hopefully it succeeds. But also on top of that, we're getting some other noises from the suspension on the driver's side. I've been hitting potholes and I've been hearing like a binding popping noise. I don't know if it's my axle or my stabilizer links, but hopefully I can show you guys what I do there. But otherwise, let's let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, he's going to start taking it apart. And hopefully this is not what you guys think it is. I am a little bit scared because I'm going to have to spend extra money if this is anything worse. And I mean in labor in the sense of dropping a motor and possibly taking a turbo out just for an oil leak. But on top of that, I told you guys, if I'm taking the turbo out, it doesn't make sense to... I want to do it once and cry once. So, if this turbo's coming out, it's getting an upgraded turbo. I don't care what nobody says. I'm not trying to deal with the emotions about it. I'm just going to swipe the credit card and cry. Because if I cry twice, oh man, you guys are going to see it. You guys are going to laugh at Boost. So, otherwise, let's continue. Uh, let's get this disassembly started. This salary for nothing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, uh... Give you an example, right? So, mm -hmm. my parents, right? Mm -hmm. They bought the car for 90 back in the 98, right? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. So he's removing some of the heat shield bolts, um, the oxygen sensor. I don't believe he can remove the EGT sensor, but uh, he got the car cooled down. So you know, just wanted to break it up a little bit. All right, guys. I already showed you how to remove this stuff, so you could check the old video about that part. But uh, yeah, I am still very scared. All right, so we've been about it about 15 minutes now. He got really, really quick, really, really, really quick. Very far with this. I am a little bit scared. Oh man, I hope this gets fixed. Ah. And for some of you guys who want to see what's in my catch can, uh, let's take a quick look and uh, see how much I have. I did about a thousand miles. I still haven't done my oil change. I'm definitely over three. And yep, regular old gunk. Nothing too crazy that we can't handle. Uh, not much, but it's still quite enough, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It's not milky or anything like that. So, uh, yep, let's just pour that down there. And yes, that would have went into my intake manifold. And this is the oil that gunks up the top of your valves and everything. So this is why an oil catch can is necessary for uh, the VR30. All right, where is it? Look. That's the fiddle line. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the oil line right there. Okay. That's not leaking. It's the gasket between. It's over here. Between this. And that. Mm -hmm. so, so that's pretty much the gasket for the cold side. Yeah. I mean the hot side. That's leaking. Ah, uh, that sucks. Let me get a better light. Oh, yeah. You're right. It's, it's leaking from the side. Oh man, that that stinks. <laughs> well, at least you got it out the way, so we could, t could tell that was the most Im most Im most important part. Yeah. All right, guys, I can't even get the light down there. Pop it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, cause that's the banjo bolt, and it's dry. <laughs> Yeah, the banjo bolt is dry. Um, I'm going to be able to show these guys it, but I can't be able to get in there. But yeah, guys, it's pretty much a banjo bolt that's all the way down there. I can't get the light directly on it because it's refracting off the blue. But the banjo bolt is dry all the way around it. Thanks out to all the motor works for catching, making that catch. 
So yes, this turbo is leaking from the housing itself. Probably a gasket between the hot side and the cold side. Alrighty, buddy, so you heard it. Yeah, that's the face. That's the face of a man that now has a turbo that's on his way out. Um, pretty much from what I couldn't really show you guys in the video is you have the banjo bolt, which I was trying to get to, which is the oil feed, and it's dry, which means that the oil seal between the hot side and um, pretty much where the coolant and the, excuse me, where the coolant and the oil will go through is leaking from there. So we pretty much can't do nothing about this. This this is where the turbo would need to be replaced completely. And I have two options now. Now I'm here. I'm not going to do it now today. It's not like it's, it's oil leaking that bad. What's going to happen, have to happen here is this. I have two options. <laughs> I know Infinity's watching. Uh, one, I can try to get a warranty. We get the same turbos again. One. Uh, they do make a newer part number for the turbo. So most likely, hopefully, it'll be a better upgraded turbo. Uh, not in the sense of turbines, but better quality. Or two, second option here is... Like I've been saying, I just jump out the window and get pure turbos. Or maybe even RT turbos. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. But you guys see it. <laughs> um, my car is a 2018. It has the older model turbos from factory. And I've been seeing more people pop up with this oil leak. And they've been having their turbos replaced. In my case, I was hoping that it was just the gasket. But it isn't. So otherwise than that, guys, you already know what to do. You already know what to say. Yes, we did it. <laughs> I made it to 20K, but now I have an oil leak. <laughs> Otherwise than that, guys, uh, I might continue to make a few parts of this video. So uh, let's just fast forward and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so also at the same time, we're going to take a look and see how this driver's side um, axle looks. I've been getting a, a knocking, clicking, popping noise on this side, and I took a look at the stabilizer links and there wasn't no problem. So we're gonna take a look at some suspension components. But if not, we're gonna change it for a brand new axle in. And this is also off of the M56 too. It's about three quarters of an inch longer. So we'll see, you never know, but let's continue. All right guys, so we took a look and there was nothing wrong. Yes, we took a look at the stabilizer links, the axles, the play, um, the engine mounts, the tie rod ends, the ball joints, we took a look at everything. Um, I'm thinking that the noise I am getting from the suspension is probably the coilover. Yes, the coilover. Um, I do have, these coilovers probably have over 40 to 50,000 miles on them. Reason being is I had them since my first Q, my black one, and I did about 20,000 miles, 25,000 miles on that Q before I traded it in. And then now this car just hit 20,000 miles. So yes, this, this coilovers have over 40,000 miles in Brooklyn roads. If you guys live in Brooklyn, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm talking about I drove this car low. So yes, uh, it's, I assume that it's probably coming from the the BC racing coilover itself. Maybe the top nut may be loose. Um, I'm gonna see if I can probably try to tighten it. But I remember trying to tighten it about two, three months ago and the noise is still there. So yes, coilovers do make noises when they're starting to go. Um, moving forward to the turbo thing. Yeah, I'm here. This is it guys, this is it. And in the next few videos, I'm gonna talk about what are some of my options. Should I get, you know, new turbos, pure, RT, maybe AMS's new turbos if they ever drop them? Or should I get the car warrantied? You never know. Or should I get the, get them to drop the motor and just rebuild the OEM to stock turbos? We'll see. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm here, guys. I'm here. And here's the thing, guys. I told you, for the people who made it to this part of the video, if those turbos are gonna go in this car, I can't just have one car. I need to have a second car, which means, guess what? The G37 goes right to the front and we're gonna have to get a second car before dropping these turbos. The car can still be driven and everything. It's a small oil leak. It's not like I'm not hitting my boost targets and everything. The car is still running good. It's just that at some point, it's, it's gonna continue to get worse, um, the oil leak. So yes, we don't want that. So otherwise than that, guys, <laughs> that's the news. Uh, you already know what to do. If I have 800 views, that means I should have 800 likes. So check the view counter. Also, on top of that, guys, you know what to do. Uh, you can contact me at Boost Emotion. You also check out my merch, Boost Emotion. 
um, BoostMotion.ig, Facebook, and BoostMotion on gmail.com. Guys, we here. We did it. Um, it's a different world right now. The world's going through some different stuff, but eh, I'm doing with first world problems. I'm just happy that I, I can be able to help you guys so much and give you guys the information. I just want to tell you guys I love you. I love you guys. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.